some cardboard. Uh, it's not particularly thick stuff, but it should do for what we want to do. So we need to make a container that's going to hold the batteries. So it needs to be about the width of the batteries. I'm actually going to make it a tight fit because that will help hold the wires in place. So my battery is about one and three eighths inches long. Don't know what that is in centimetres because this ruler only does inches. Did I say one and three eighths? Two and three eighths. two of them together look like they are two and five eighths so we want it one and three eighths across. So line up with there. One and three eighths. Two and five eighths. And then one and three eighths again. Three-eighths that way. Three-eighths that way. Three-eighths. Three-eighths. So this is just to make a box that we can fold up to hold them.
to be our box. be a tight fit and I'll hot glue that in place. Before I glue it together I'm just squeezing it, squeezing it hard because that's making marks there so I know where to put these be my contacts. Now we need to make the holes for these things to go through. Like I say, you could just bend up some metal um, from a drinks can and push that down the sides, that'll do the same thing. But because I've got these, I'll try and use them. I'm not even sure that they're a good um, conductor, but we'll find out in a minute. Gives me an idea. That's a good tight fit in there now. So if I hold them together, so you can see I've got an on off switch. It's a push switch, it doesn't lock on, although with a bit of bending I could make it do that.
There we go. On off switch. Let's see if we can add an extra LED. So we'll just show that. That's all squeezed together. And then that's our switch. And if you want to make that a permanent switch, on, off. I think that's job done. I could make a, another cardboard box shape fit over the top to cover it but I think that's good enough to demonstrate how to do it. Job done. I've just remembered I did say that we should put a resistor in circuit which I didn't do and as you can see they work quite happily without the resistor but to put the resistor in there we'd just put it in the same position and then twist the legs of the resistor around the LEDs and that would do the same job.